Hi everyone, and what we have today on the table it's 14.4 um, Pulse Makita Cordless Drill, it's a BDF 343. It's a um, really great lightweight tool for the for the good industrial use and the problem with it is that it's just not working and we will try to find out why of course first of all we will check the battery but I will do that when I will assemble the tool so I will start from the screws here on the housing Just taking out the housing, and we can see all the tools the gear I see, the motor, the switch, the terminal. Of course, now we need a multimeter. I have the master multimeter, I don't know if it's good or not, but it's good enough for me in a shop. Now, how to test the battery? Just inserting it and measuring the voltage here on the switch and we have the 16 volts so the battery is fully charged we need to measure here of course not touching the minus with the positives negative with the positive and now I have the I cannot show that. I have the 60 16 volts. Now the second step is to check is the switch or the motor fault. The basically if you have the current on a switch, then when you press the switch the current goes to the motor. What we need to do, we need to measure the voltage on a motor. Just holding it here, and now I'm pressing the switch, and I see no voltage here, so zero. That's that means we have the switch fault, and now we can see the me pressing the switch and the multimeter. It's a zero I'm pressing it and it's uh, still not working that means it's a switch fault now of course we are removing the battery and I have the new switch for this tool you can see it comes to the wires here the wires to the terminal and I will just remove the old switch Connecting the terminal on the terminal, we can see the negative and the positive signs. You can see here is the positive, here is the negative. Of course, the red one is positive, and the black one is negative. Now we need to unsolder the wires from the motor. I'll zoom it a little bit. One is out and another is out. About the wires in the motor, if you will change the negative to positive, it's uh, nothing bad happens. Uh, just the drill will go in a different direction than the switch shows. But basically, it's a red dot here, and that means uh, here you need to connect the red wire. It's really simple the red dot, the red wire. Yeah, now I will put the wires through the holes. The red dot goes to the red wire cannot get it fit in ok I will use the 
tape, we have the tape for removing the, the flues. Just putting the tape on, heating it, and you have the nice, nice hole here. And for second hole, I think it will be okay. Now just drawing out the red wire, heating up everything. Can I see it? It's Okay, it's good. Of course, doing the same with the with the black wire. It's a little bit tricky because I cannot get my head closer to the table because it's a it's a camera out there and you will see nothing if I will do that yep now I not got it I just take it out I will hold it like this yeah we can see that again I have another hole and it's a very very good way to church to show how the how this wonderful tape is working. You can see the hole now is almost covered. Just putting the tape, heating it. And removing it. It's almost all is out. Of course I can remove it to be clean. Now it's time for the wire. Okay, I think it will go down. Just getting back to the normal view. We have the switch here, we have the gear IC connected. Just getting everything back in place. And the red wire, the black wire. The direction switch. Worse getting the wires in the position. Okay, now everything is in the position, and now it's um, time to test the motor and the switch of course yeah it's working we change the direction we can assemble it everything looks fine now Fine, now it's a second test. So a little bit weaky here, it's a, yeah, it's a rune at one too. Okay, but so um, yep, the drill was fine now. Okay, but that was a easy repair. Of course need a little bit of time to 
the assemble the tool, but it's a really easy simple tool and um, easy fix, easy test for you. Okay, uh, let's uh, say that you just subscribe and press on advertising and I will be happy. And of course I am waiting you in my next video. Bye!